Not true. Explain that Muhammad split the moon. Well, Muhammad Qadir, I challenge you to show me where in the Quran it says that Muhammad or Allah split the moon. Is that fair, guys? Here we see another example of stupidity. Can you show me where in the Quran it says that Allah split the moon or Muhammad split the moon? If you cannot, you have to apologize for you are a fool. What do you think, guys? Can he show us where it says that Allah he split the moon? Where he says that? Chapter 54 verse number 1 doesn't say Allah split anything. It says the moon is split. And here we find it very funny that he did not say I split the moon. So who did it? <laughs> this is the verse in the front of you. And this is your stupid translation. So the hour of judgment is near and the moon is split asunder. Okay, who split the moon? Do you see anywhere it says Allah or Muhammad did? It's reporting for us eclipse. The stupid Muhammad, he saw an eclipse and he claimed the moon split asunder. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because he claimed, he said in Arabic, in Tarabat al when Shaq al Qamar. And by the way, this is a total copy paste from the point of Imr al Qais. Thief. Imr al Qais. He made this phrase about when he saw his girlfriend, his lover. She is beautiful. The Arab, they are racist, as we know. They like white women. So she have a face of a white woman. She is very white to the point when her face appear in the night as if the moon is split asunder. From the middle of the darkness, her face appear. And we find that Muhammad, he stole too many of his phrases from the poetry of this man. This is the poetry of Amr al-Qais. That is Sa'a wa Shaq al-Qawar. Exactly. As Muhammad said. But this guy exists before Muhammad. And this poetry exists before him. Muhammad, he changed the word Danat with the word Iqtaraba. The same, but the same meaning. Exactly the same phrase. And they say to you, who can make Quran like the Quran? Well, the Quran is copying the point of Emerald Qais. And then he copy here. Na'isu al-tarfi bi'aynayhi. Sorry, he copy. Faramani fata'ata fa'aqartu. Fatarakani kahashim in muhtadar. Look how many. Copy it as it is. Putting it in the Quran. Look how many phrases. From one poetry. This is the Quran. And it had nothing to do with the moon. It was about a girl who she is very white. She appeared in the darkness of the night. And the man, he was making a point to flirt with her. That her face is the same as the moon splitting a cinder in the middle of the night. And the, the, the one is splitting is not the moon. It is the, the darkness. In Shaq al Qamar, it's like, you know, you have a darkness and suddenly the moon appear in front of you, shiny. It was about a girl. Ahwarun qad hurtu fi awsafihi. He have a black eyes. This is the whore. He have a beautiful eyes. I cannot even describe for you. Na'isu al-tarfi ba'aynihi hawar. His eyelashes, they are like very spoiled, sleepy around his eyes or her eyes and her eyes have a very amazing whitening surrounding them you know inside the eye like the eye will be black and around it will be very white clear he, he arrived in the day she arrived in the day of Eid Eid holiday Faramani fata'ata fa'aqar he throw, she throw her arrow on me, and her arrow go through me. And then he says, 
Fatarakanika Hashimi Mahtadar. He left me over like something destroyed, burned, like dust. It's about poetry, about women. I have nothing to do with God. Muhammad, he copy from his poetry and he inserted in the Quran. And yet they say to us, nobody can make Quran. Not to forget to mention that Muhammad, he made it clear, or the Hadith, that Allah, he was copying it from Umar al Khattab, where Allah, he take from Umar as he said, read it carefully. And this is Sahih Hadith. My Lord agreed with me in three things. I said this, I said that, I said that, I said this. And look what it says here. And the verse revealed the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it? So how the Quran is a miracle, nobody can make like it, and Allah is copying our Khattab. Are we clear in that? My friend, I am out of Skype. When we come back, you can call me. We are done for today with Skype. So nobody can make Quran, but Allah copy in Umar al-Khattab word by word, as I have said. But imagine, nobody can make Quran. Right? Nobody can make Quran. But if Umar, he said the Quran before Allah, and then Allah, he take what Umar said, that's mean anyone can make Quran. Maybe Umar is Allah. You know what I mean? Yeah, my, uh, Muhammad Kadir. Malik King Sharmon? Oh, okay. And uh, what does this have to do with my topic? What? So you are saying your prophet is copying from somebody else? Hmm. I saw it too. I was there at that time. Everybody saw the moon. You see, there's a guy, his name is Fifi. He said the reason people did not see the moon splitting at that time because it happened for a few seconds. Uh -huh. So what's the point of this moon splitting if nobody will see it? Go watch the video. He was answering a person, his name, the apostate prophet. He said, and I'm quoting, the reason nobody saw it because it happened for a few seconds. Few seconds. And when, then what happened? Allah, he put the moon together. <laughs> and what happened about Judgment Day is in the corner. This is 1400 years ago. So here we see all the reference proving that the Quran is a fraud and anyone can make Quran. Actually, Muhammad himself, he said. What king? What king? What are you talking about, Abdul? Come on. What's the statement is amazing. Uh, listen to this. Isn't it the Quran says that even Shaitan he made Quran and Muhammad did not notice? How Muhammad received Shaitan Quran, satanic verses, if nobody can make Quran and Muhammad did not notice? Do you understand what I'm saying? If no one can make such a thing, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad he received satanic verses and Muhammad he recited them. And we got Muslim busted. If you watch my video with the Sheikh Abdul Wadud, where the liar he says, No, he did not. And then we got him busted. It's in front of your face. Liar. So if Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, Muhammad recited, recited the satanic verses. But nobody can make Quran like Allah. So how Muhammad did not notice that this is not from Allah? Who is the best judge if we, if we now, if you bring something to Muhammad and say, this is here a person he's trying to make Quran, and this is a verse from the Quran. Which one is the, who is the best judge to be a Muslim Abdul from YouTube or Muhammad, the founder of the cult of Islam? The answer, Muhammad. If Muhammad himself could not recognize which from Allah, which is from Shaitan, and the first confirmed that, and the interpretation confirmed that,